page representation of a system. So let's take a problem. So our problem is to find the state space representation or the state equations of this system. Okay, and we have to choose the state variables as v1t and v2t. So these are the two state variables and using these two state variables we have to find out the state equations and the state model of the system. So let's solve this problem. First of all, we will write the equations for this system. So using Kirchhoff's voltage law, we will write the equations for this system. So using KVL, the first equation for this system is, we have here V2T, the voltage at this node, so V2T minus UT upon R1 is the current flowing through this. So we will have V2T minus UT upon R1. Then for this capacitor C1, we have the voltage across this or the current across this will be C1 D V2T by DT. So plus C1 D V2T by DT. Then for this resistance R2, we have V2T minus V1T upon R2. First, we are writing the KVL as this node. So we will have V2T minus V1T upon R2 equals to 0. So this is our first equation. Now, also at this node we will write the KVL, we will apply the KVL here and write the equations. So our equation will be and also we will have C2 D V1T by DT, the current across the capacitor C2 plus V1T minus V2T upon R2 equals to 0. How we have written this for at this node the voltage across this capacitor will be or the current will be D, uh, C2 multiplied with D V1T by DT we have written here plus the current across this resistance will be V1T because we are writing the node equation for this node so we will consider the current in this direction so it will be V1T minus V2T upon R2 equals to 0 and also we have this V0T it will be equals to V1T. Now rearranging we have two equations first is uh, this equation and second is this equation. So rearranging we will get So what we have done, we have, we want to get the value of this dv2 by dt. So from here dv2 by dt will be, this will goes to the right hand side and this term will also goes to the right hand side divided by c1. Then 
we have put this value here from here we have taken the value of v1 uh, this dv1 by d uh, dt and we have substituted here in this equation so we have got the value of dv2 by dt or we can write it as v2 dot in terms of the two state variables because we have to choose v1t and v2t as our two state variables so this equation is the derivative of the state variable v2 so this will be equals to v1t 1 upon c1 or 2 So this is the equation for v2 dot or the derivative of the state variable. Now here from this second equation we can get the derivative of the state variable v1. So its value will be this will goes to the right hand side. So it will become minus v1 t upon r2 c2 this c2 will goes in the denominator then this will become plus v2 t upon c2 r2 okay mark this equation as third equation and when we solve this equation we will get our v1 dot that is the derivative of the state variable v1 and it will be equals to v1 t 1 upon from here, it will be V1T multiplied with minus 1 upon R2 C2 plus V2T multiplied with 1 upon R2 C. Mark this equation as fourth equation. So you can see that this third and the fourth equation, they are the derivatives of the two state variables V1 and v2 so using these two equations we can find out the state equation of the system so how it can be written we have v1 dot v2 dot it will be equals to our two state variables are v1 and v2 plus we have ut so for v1 dot the equation is this so the coefficient of v1 t will be minus 1 upon r2 c2 so we will write here minus 1 upon r2 c2 the coefficient of v2 is 1 upon r2 c2 so we can write 1 upon r2 c2 here then from the third equation for v2 dot we have v1 t as coefficient of v1t is 1 upon c1 r2 so we will write 1 upon c1 r2 then the coefficient of v2t is minus this is minus sign so the coefficient of v2t it is minus sign and 1 upon c1 r1 plus 1 upon c1 r2 so we will write this here minus 1 upon c1 r1 plus 1 upon c1 r2 then the coefficient of ut is 1 upon c1 r1 in v1 dot ut was not present so we will write 0 here and here the coefficient is 1 upon c1 r1 so this is our state equation state equation because it is having the it is defining the derivatives of the state variables as a linear combination of the state variables and the input. So it is defining the state variables, so it is called the state equation. Now we also know that the output, output is our v0t. So in this uh, diagram you can see that v0t is equals to v1t. So we have another equation v naught t equals to v1 t. This is our fifth equation. So from this equation we can write the output equation. So output is what v naught t. The two, uh, the two state variables are v1 and v2. 
So V1 is coefficient is 1, so we will write 1 here and V2 is not present, so we will write 0 here. So this is our output equation. So these two equations, state equation and the output equation, they constitute the state model of the system or we can say that it is the state space representation of the system. So in this way, we can find out the state space representation for any type of system. We will choose, we will write the equations for the state variables, derivatives of the state variable and the output variable. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.